Hello, Boone County Judge Executive Gary Moore here, and today I'm talking with David Whitehouse. David has been our Parks and Rec Director here in Boone County now for many years, and I'll let David tell you how many. Uh, David, welcome. Thank you. Yeah, so during the COVID-19 pandemic and all the disruptions that have taken place, something that I'm very proud of is to be able to say that our park system, while we've had some, some, some hiccups here or there, but for the most part, the parks have been open. Tell us a little bit about that. Well, we, were, we learned with the pandemic just how important parks were in getting out in the open space. So the county made a, a concerted effort to actually make sure that our parks were clean and open to our public. So, you know, everything has been open, trails and hiking and, you know, biking and just being able to get in open space has been open since day one. We have never closed those. Uh, we have, you know, basketball courts and playgrounds and stuff. We've kind of followed the health department and the, and the governor's guidelines and we've followed those. But for the most part, our parks have really seen great numbers and our residents have been able to enjoy the outdoors. So as we said here today, everything but the basketball courts are open. Uh, restrooms uh, are open they're going through additional cleaning steps uh, those kinds of things are seem to be performing well yes sir we uh typically we clean the restrooms once a day but we clean them in the morning like always but now we go back in after lunch and make sure they're clean and and still stocked and people can get into them our porter restrooms of course are clean twice a week as always but we we make a sort of effort to keep a, keep a better eye on them as we go along Okay, so I'm sure you're doing a lot of virtual type uh, events and programs. Uh, of course, people can go to our BooneCountyKY.org website, go to parks, but tell us a little bit about the virtual program. Well, the virtual program has really just been, it's really just kind of a, a little bit of change of what we, what we always do. Uh, you know, my staff is very creative. My staff, is, when I gave them a task and said, hey, how do we continue to offer our, our residents such great opportunities in our county? We went to, uh, example, we always have a fishing derby every year. Well, so now we just have where the kids are actually submitting fishing, their fishing photos into us. Uh, we're posting them on our Facebook. We're sending them a certificate out with their little, with their picture on this certificate. Uh, we annually do a kite fest. And instead of uh, everybody coming together, one thing, you come by our office, we have kite, materials already made with the instructions you take them home and you can make the kite same thing with our arts and crafts programs we have them all bagged up you sign up for the class come by and pick up the weekly craft and take them home and do them we give you instructions we're also doing that we summer camp is always one of our biggest programs throughout the year due to all the issues with COVID we weren't allowed to run the summer camps but to keep some of our families to help them in some of the areas We've actually been doing virtual camps. We have a couple of our staff people are in. They're doing fun activities and games, and we're putting it on our Facebook and sending out them links so they can continue to do those as well. Uh, I know we haven't talked a whole lot about this, but youth sports, uh, what's that looking like as we sit here today? Well, youth sports is just coming around. The, the 15th was a start, according to the governor, where they can start doing team practices. Uh, that's still the one to 10. Starting on the 29th, they can go. They can go to having 50 people. We're still trying to promote social distancing. You know, making sure we're checking people's temperatures, all those things we can to make sure they're safe. Uh, we we they've modified the games a little bit. Like baseball, for example, the umpires are no longer going to be behind the catcher. They're going to be behind the pitcher. So they'll be calling balls and strikes from behind the pitcher. So. All the leagues and all those people have really kind of modified the rules. It's working out reasonably well. We're just getting into that part, but I think it's going to work out well. There are so many people who are just excited by just playing baseball. I mean, this is my 29th year in parks, and I can't tell you. I mean, today's June the 23rd. No baseball games or soccer game the entire spring. It, it's a first for me. So uh, it's kind of exciting just to see the kids back out on the fields. Well, David Whitehouse, our director of Boone County Parks and Recreation, thank you. You know, this uh, parks department, Boone County, has won state and, and regional awards for many years. Uh, we've been the park system of the year here in Kentucky multiple times. And 
under David's leadership and all of our parks employees, they work so hard. And that's a job where they're often 24 seven. They could be called out at any time for whatever it might be. So David, thank you. Go to boomcountyky.org to our website, check out Boom County Parks, take advantage of some of these programs that David has laid out. David, thank you. Thank you again for having me.